guys, how's it going? I am now in Melbourne, Australia, and I'm in Car Advices lovely little Audi S1. I've never driven an S1 before, so having a lot of fun in it, and I'm just about to do a mini review with you guys. Next to me, I've got Jack. How from, are you going? From, uh, from Melbourne. Some of the car porn we've seen today, and I'm not just saying this as next level, like better than a lot of stuff. In fact, most stuff that I've seen uh, in Europe. a bit more of a full extensive review on this car once I know it better because I'm going to have it for five days. Turn right here mate, see I've had to, <laughs> I've had to learn my, uh, my, ear, my ears have had to learn a new language essentially. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, uh, I mean even though Jack's 17 he's driven a lot of exotic, exotic cars and a lot of very fast cars and his old man's actually got a very nice Cooper Hatch, J J that's oh, a Cooper JCW. Hatch. Yes. Carbon edition, one out of 40 in Australia. It's so, a car for the Australian market only. So a bit like the car that I recently had in London, but a special yeah, but edition. But a five door as well. Oh, the five door. Yeah. And I think they actually look really resolved, the five door. They doors. look nice. They yeah. look nice. And I can imagine them being a bit more stable, especially at high speeds, because the wheelbase is a bit longer. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, definitely. So yeah, so he, what I'm saying is he's driven a lot of cars. He, he's familiar with hot hatches. And actually, in the time he's been in this as a passenger, he said it's very similar in terms of performance. Now, first impressions are, I have to say, the ride is actually very good. I don't believe this has got adaptive suspension, um, and I've had it in dynamic pretty much the whole time. And actually, it doesn't feel too, it doesn't shake you around the rattle you around it's not too, too much. Bad. It's not too bad. Not, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a tiny car, isn't it? Like, <laughs> it really is. I mean, I know the, the A1 platform, it's a small car, but this is really, it really is compact in here. It's all right, I've got space. Driving position's not bad, I sit a bit high, and as I mentioned in my recent RS4 video, these seats that are quite supportive are just too small. I mean, you're well, almost 6'2", yeah. so we're very similar frames, you're broad like me. And that's me um, sitting up, so it's, and yeah. my head's miles away from the top of the seat. It is, but, but you're looking at the sun blind, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, you're, you're, you're not looking out the car, no. that's, that's <laughs> the issue. <laughs> You can imagine that as a court case, can't you, in, in the States? Well, I, I couldn't see out the I couldn't, I couldn't see out, see the, out the car. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to all my American followers, obviously. No offense, but I'm sure you're. No, we all love you. Yeah, yeah, we all love you. I haven't really tested its handling to the limits at all because I don't want to push it on roads around Melbourne because they're just super oh. strict. Um, and also, this car, as you see, is covered in car advice branding. Um, and obviously, when they hand the car over to me, they said, you know, have some fun in it, whatever. You know, it's, it's our it's our baby. We've had it for two years. It's done forty seven thousand kilometers, kilometers, which is about thirty thousand miles. Um, which which basically means it's running very well. And I have to say, there's absolutely no creaks or noises in the no, cabin. It's doing right. um, the only telltale sign to me is that the steering wheel is a bit shinier than than it would have been <laughs> when it was in the showroom. It's a fun car. Over here in Oz, it's a lot of money. You're saying it's about fifty five thousand dollars. And to put that into perspective, uh, and then yeah. 140 starts at what, just around the same sort of money? No, it's about $9,000 more retail. Okay. Uh, so, and that is a lot more cost. That's a step up, isn't it's it? It's a, step it's a up. serious yeah. step up. A serious step up. But in terms of understated, I mean, this one isn't because it's got a sticker kit all over it, it's wrapped. Mm -hmm. But out of the showroom, in a normal subtle colour, they're actually, they do fly under the radar, mm -hmm. these little things. Um, sure do. And for the, for the pace that's available, about 250 horsepower yep. he worked out because over here they use this weird thing called kilowatts, kilowatts 
Oh, they're mate. terrible. Kilowatts? How many kilowatts is your car? You got to use horsepower. Joe, horse your accent's <laughs> terrible, mate. You need to work on it. <laughs> Where are we going straight? Just straight ahead will be good. Because like you know what, horsepower sounds better because it's a bigger number always. It is you know, like, always. Why not go for the bigger number? Although newton meters is better for torque because it's bigger. That's oh, this is true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you got a point there. Yeah. And in terms of a city car, it's probably one of the ultimate. I mean, the you got the mini, you got the Abarth. The Abarth I'm not sold on because I just think the steering feel and stuff and that's terrible. And they're really torque steering. Really torque really steering. Torque steering. And they're re I mean, this is small, the cabin, but they're even smaller in the Abarth. And have um, you driven one with the the paddle shifters? Uh, yes, and the delayed oh, gearbox. So beep, slow. Beep. You're and at the rev line going, change up, change <laughs> yeah. up. And then eventually it does and then it changes two gears. Yeah, exactly. It, it hits the limiter and then gives you a gear and you ask for a gear. 100%. Um, but yeah, just it's typically Audi in here, by which I mean, of course, there's cheaper plastics around the cabin than there are in, say, the RS4 that I just tried. But actually, on first glance, it doesn't look too different. A shell petrol station. So what's that? Oh, your fuel's so much cheaper. Yeah, fuel is cheaper oh, in Australia. Oh. It's like a dollar fifty per litre. So fuel's cheaper, but you can go. You can only. You can't go very fast. So it's yeah. a bit of a cash twenty-two. Yeah, it is. And the fact our cars are so much more expensive in the first place. Exactly. Which is uh, something that many people in England get kind of confused about. Yeah, so do you want to explain so that a little bit to I'll the explain. camera? So an Aventador SV, so we're talking top end here. Yep. That's in the UK, what, 300, 400,000 pounds? Yeah, I think yeah, low 300s for a base yep. spec one. Yep, yep. Here, that's a seven hundred thousand pound car. Pound, pound, not pound, dollars. pound, pound. <laughs> which is for our Australian <laughs> viewers. That's the speed yeah, it is. Oh, that's absolutely, absolutely, one hundred percent. But yeah, as, as I was saying, in Australia, for the Australian viewers, that's a one million two hundred ninety-five thousand dollar car. Oh, God. It's which just... is a really quite nice house. But that, but that's an extreme. So let's talk about something that. A lot oh, of you guys can relate sure. to, um, like a, let's you talked about the M3 or M4. So M, an M3 here is a competition packs one hundred and sixty thousand, and that's dollars. So one hundred and sixty thousand dollars, which is the equivalent of about, about 100, ninety hundred thousand yeah, pounds. Yeah, no, I think just over. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, but let's let's call it a hundred thousand pounds for, for a an competition M3. pack. Yeah. yeah, nearly twice. We pay we pay sixty. So, oh, for a I'm so, so near, <laughs> nearly twice. Nearly twice the money. Nearly yeah. twice the money. So, so when you, you do see number one, a lot, a lot fewer of that sort of Elka car, or even like your base nine elevens um, in in Australia. Well, you, you used to, but mm. to, <laughs> judging by today, <laughs> yeah. not so the case. But but, but the, still the see some serious cars around Melbourne. Yes, you still see that. Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, that what you showed me today alone. Oh. I forgot to mention, Jack is actually a. BMW product genius. Correct. Um, Correct. So in other words, he knows a lot more than the salesman. They're probably getting paid a lot more money and have worked there a lot longer than him. Oh, um, we're going right Yes, here. we are. We sure are. And Damn. if any of your friends that are salesmen watching me, I, I didn't really mean that. <laughs> oh, she goes. Beautiful. So it feels really stable. I can't go too fast, but, no. but it pulls well, you know. Yeah. And that's 50 k's an hour. What we should finish on is, I was going to say high, but it's probably a low. Um, give me some Australian sayings, because I'm going to be here for the next three weeks, so I need to learn some. Cause yeah, I'm... no worries. So, g'day, obviously. You g'day, know, yeah, yeah. You I walk up that. to a bloke on the street. Hey, mate, how you going? You know, okay. just for... you Will you give me his phone me... number if I say that? No, no, oh, no. Oh, no. okay. Oh, right. well, unless you're into that. No, 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 I was just checking out. I didn't no, want to no, sort of give uh, the wrong you, vibes. You know, you, you don't want to, uh, you can't be too aggressive with that because you'll just scare people off. Mm -hmm. But, you know, if you're just nice, don't get out, mate, how are you? Yep. Or, uh, she'll be right, you know, if something's like a bit sketchy and you're like, mm -hmm. you a bit go, like she'll, the clutch. she'll be right, yeah. you know, she'll last. So this clutch isn't going to get us back. Nah, she'll, she'll be right. right. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm learning, I'm learning. <laughs> Uh, His yeah, Aussie was... accent is absolutely horrible. He sounds like a creaky old doorknob or something. <laughs> or just a creaky old knob. Oh, both. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so that's good. <laughs> Should be right, mate. <laughs> G'day, how's it going? And oh, yeah, in not Australia, so for, for the British viewers in Australia, we've got something called right sun. And sun is a really nice, beautiful, bright, warm thing. Yes. And, you know, I love England, don't get me wrong, but it's too cloudy and cool. Whereas
this year we can um, get these beautiful shots with you in the beautiful light. You're you're 100 percent right, man. Like when I left England a couple of days ago. Uh, in fact, on Sunday, so it's Wednesday now to put this in perspective. Sunday I was working with a client and it was torrential rain and snow and fog and zero degrees all day long. So and it's 30 right now. It's 30, clear, not not a cloud in the, I was going to say use the F word then, but I'm not going <laughs> to, not a cloud in the F word Something sky. sky. <laughs> oh yeah, mate, it will be all right. It's not like I'm a bloody score, mate. Should we go home and put some shrimps in the barbie? Mate, they're prawns here. Prawns in the barbie? I almost got there. Uh, you, you, the, no, everyone's the Americans just, are going to hate me and the Australians are going to hate me. Uh, well, you're on, you can sign up for me. I'm you're, on a, on a you're on a roll here, Joe. <laughs> you're upsetting everyone in everyone. the world. <laughs> That is it for today. I just wanted to thank my good buddy, Jack. Yep, thank you very much. Uh, it's been an awesome day and I was not expecting this. I thought I'd just come off the plane, be exhausted and not be able to do anything. But obviously flying Cathay business meant I could sleep most of the way between Hong Kong and here. So I woke up feeling a lot better, got a bit of a croaky throat. Um, but yeah, meeting up with Jack, God, some of the cars and the yeah, things you showed me today. Yeah, some good cars, yeah, oh, indeed. <laughs> next level, yeah. so that was awesome like sub and cheers isn't that the Something way you like do that. it yeah pretty much all yeah. right like sub and cheers and what about if they got any questions oh got any questions comment below hey, there you go <laughs> hopefully oh. you understood his australian accent they should just he should pay me for this <laughs> oh yeah yeah of course <laughs> next time this is just a this is like a pilot you, you, you fly me out yeah i'll fly you out yeah i'll fly you out of business cafe oh sounds Every good time, sounds good and uh yeah i'll put a link to your Instagram below in the description. Cheers. Got it right. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Cheers, Cheers. guys.